Shout out to today's sponsor, Soul Premise. As you guys see, I have my Soul Premise bag right here in front of me. Now you can fit up the five pair of shoes in this bag. I personally use it for an everyday bag, but this is the TSA approved bag. So when I do go on vacation, I do use this bag and I get on there with no problems. As you guys see in this video, I'm walking on the plane with it. Also, when you guys do get this bag on the middle pocket, which I'll show you guys right here, you can actually put your laptop in, all right? And it does have a Velcro strap, so it will stay strapped in. I'm gonna actually open up the first pocket and show you guys the shoes inside of there. I do have the neck face shoes, foam runners. Show you guys the last pocket in the front. All right. I got some 450s in here and I got some other SB dunks that I will be reviewing real soon. Just want to fill up the bag so I can show you guys all the shoes that it can fit. On the bottom pocket, I also have the Air Jordan 1 Lows, UNC. They do also have merch, which you guys can purchase as well. All right, and they have some pretty nice merch. I'll show you right here. In the shirt, I did go to size medium, and the shorts are a size small. Now, if you want more of a five inch inseam look, you can roll them up just once. If you guys are interested in any of these items I just showed you guys, you guys can get these for 40% off. Yes, that's right, 40% off by using my code YDavis. And let's get right back into the video. What's up everybody, Y Davis here, back with another review. So I'm gonna be showing you guys the Air Jordan 1, Starfish. All right guys, so as you guys can see, we get the red and black box right here. Now normally when this box comes like this, this is a woman exclusive, and that's what this is. All right, on the front of the box, I did go with a size 10.5 because I am a true size nine. So to basically find your sizing on women's shoes, you go one and a half sizes up. The retail on this was 180. We don't get a suggested retail on the box, but the current resale is going for about 200 uh, to 220, depending on sizing. Uh, I think the prices will stand up around the holiday because you know this is a holiday shoe, very dope shoe. But after the holidays, it might drop down. So um, you can possibly even find some smaller sizes in the store. But open up the top of the box here. We do get a stamp on the top of the box. Okay, so regular tissue paper. Check out this beautiful colorway shoe. I don't know why. Let me rephrase that. I don't know when we're gonna get another shattered backboard but if you guys look at these at nighttime this is probably the closest thing you know to an upgraded shattered backboard because the brown will probably look black but man these are just pretty clean in, in person in my opinion um also i will say that um something that we don't normally see on an air jordan one is that they come pre-laced normally they they come unlaced at first when i first looked at them i thought i was going crazy at first but you know that's actually how they do come they come pre-laced um Start off with the bottom of the shoe here. As you guys see, we get this orange on the bottom of the shoe. All right, we get that Nike with the swoosh under it. Okay, on the outsole of the shoe here, it's like in a sail color. All right, it has like a little bit of yellowing to it. Same thing on the inside of the shoe right there. All right, now coming back towards the outside of the shoe, if you guys look on the front panel right there, you get a new line of stitching going up. You see that on the outside and on the inside of that panel in the front of the shoe. I don't know why that is added on the shoe. If you guys know, let me know in the comments box below, but they did add that little touch to the shoe. All right, pretty fire in my opinion. Coming back towards the base of the shoe here, if you guys look right there in the middle panel, we get that white leather right there. All right, on top of that, we get the swoosh and a tumble leather. All right, which is in that orange colorway. Looking at the top of the ankle here, we get the Air Jordan logo with the wings and like a brown colorway. The background is in that orange tumble leather. At the top of the ankle, it's in brown leather and a little bit under, we get some brown leather right there as well on the outside of the shoe same thing on the inside pretty fire in my opinion i really do like the materials that they did use on the shoe i like the whole tumble leather effect on the swoosh and on the orange panels what do you guys think about this shoe is it a cop or a drop is this shoe going to go up in value i really love the quality on this i'm not going to lie to you guys it's really nice um, the color scheme on this is perfect in my opinion i'm coming towards the toe box here we get a white toe box but as you guys can see these will crease up i'm pushing my hand down and as you guys see these will crease up pretty easily so make sure you guys put some wearable shoe trees in these if you want them looking nice and fresh at all times okay um if you guys look at the mud guard here we get this orange leather all right under that we get some more of that sail from the midsole some white stitching and then we see the detail stars creeping up from the bottom which are orange okay now we actually do get an extra pair of laces with these okay white laces Damn, where did i put them all right so there's another shoe right here we get some white laces with these and if you guys didn't know nike is moving to zero just like here in the tri-state area we don't use plastic bags in grocery stores and things like that it is a band on that and nike is also doing the same thing so they put the laces in this cardboard box right here on the back you can also see that it says move to zero all right and i kind of like this a little bit better you know what i mean or you could just open it up look at the laces not too hard pretty dope in my opinion i'm probably going to keep the orange laces in for this video because i think the orange laces 
but the contrast makes the shoe look better. Before we get onto the laces on here, as you guys see on the side of the right shoe, we got some pretty dope keychain emblems. So on one side it says Nike Air in brown, and background it has in that tumble leather and things like that. The same thing on the other side. And the other charm comes in brown, it says Jordan on one side, and the other side it has the basketball. And it comes with this really nice loop, as you guys can see right here on the shoe. Pretty dope in my opinion. I love the little emblems that they did add on the shoe. And at the tongue here, we get this sail tongue once again, has that like an aging effect to it. At the top right there, it says Nike Air in orange. The background of that is in white. All right. Coming towards the inside of the shoe right here on the back of the tongue, just says where the shoe is from and things like that. I'll show you guys that real quick. All right, on the actual sock lining of the shoe, it is white, All right? And it's pretty comfortable too. I love when a shoe is very comfortable like this. You get some tissue inserts on these. Production dates on this was 02, 09, 22, 05, 21, 22. All right, take out the insole and we get the comfortable insoles on this shoe. The last shoe that we got the old insoles was the Air Jordan 1 Denims. I did drop a video on that if you guys wanna look at that, but it seems like we are gonna be getting this new insole from now on with the price increase and the new shape Jordans. But uh, I really do love this insole because it makes the shoe experience a lot better on feet in my opinion. Under the actual insole, it is white. Show you guys that real quick. Okay, with some white stitching in there. Now coming towards the back of the shoes, at the top of the back of the shoes, as you guys see, we get this brown leather that I talked about a little bit earlier. All right, pretty nice. Under that, we get some more of that tumble orange leather. We see a little bit of white, and then it goes back down to the orange leather. Then we see the sole with the orange creeping up from the bottom. All right, now I'm gonna show you guys my foot is in a toe box right now. Okay guys, so this is what they look like on feet. Pretty clean in my opinion. Now I'm a true size nine, let me get nine and a half in all my shoes. Set for four fifties and three fifties. I believe I need to go a full size up on those. I actually did go true to size on these. <laughs> now for most Nike Dunk lows, Air Jordan one lows, Air Force one lows, um, and women's shoes, I, I feel like they do run a little bit big. So I actually did go true to size on these once again. But as you guys see here on the shoe that is not laced up, this is normally how I like to wear my shoes. I have no slippage on here. And on the one tied up, it does feel pretty nice. Now I will say I do feel a little bit of pressure right here on the inside of my foot but um on the left shoe i don't feel that tight of pressure like on the right shoe but um i would say you can go true to size on these i will show you guys my foot right here boom as you guys see my foot right there i do have a little bit of space in the front of the toe box now when i show you guys the pressure right here on on the outside of the foot see how that is kind of flush so if you do need a little bit more space in your shoes or have a wider foot you can go up half a size i don't think it would do any Thing different for the shoe experience same thing on the inside of the shoe right here see it's flush i don't really have that much space in there but it does feel good that will break in over time but if you don't want to you know go through that process and just want to have that space in your shoes and have your feet looking like you know a little bit better than others <laughs> You know, you can't go up that half a size. But other than that, they feel really nice on feet, especially with this upgraded insole. And I'm gonna show you guys with these like some different pants options right now. Okay guys, so if you guys like this video, make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, show your boy some love and stay tuned.